Here at the Cork and Craft, we offer the abnormal experience. It is a tasty menu that's on top of our core dining menu. It gives us a chance to allow the guests to trust me to cook with ingredients that I'm passionate about. For this abnormal experience, we're exploring Royal Dutch Veal, from raw, seared, braised, sous vide, all the way to dessert courses. The veal was very lean, tender, overall versatile. It's fun exploring such a high quality ingredient that is so versatile. We started off with veal tartare paired with a fresh oyster, cured egg yolk, whipped herb puree, and a little dry ice to get the guests wild for the first course. From there, we went into veal carpaccio, very simple, delicate flavors. Sun-dried tomato jam, basil, balsamic purees, and sourdough chips with a little fresh origins basil. From there, we rolled into maple glazed veal, pumpernickel soil, fresh root veg, and carrot top pesto. I want the tasty menus to tell a story so I constantly focus on balance, textures, flavors, and ingredients to make sure that it's consistent all the way through the whole dinner. The next course was curry toasted brioche with a fresh coconut panna cotta, braised veal, osher caviar, and coriander blossoms. And for our tableside aroma, we poured boiling water over kefir lime leaves and fresh citrus. For our next course, we did a play off surf and turf, king crab, cucumbers with seared veal, a shellfish emulsion, radishes, and smoked trout roe. Finally finished with a tarragon yogurt gazpacho. For the sixth course, we did strawberry rhubarb glazed veal, pickled green strawberries, a spicy pepper jam with basil puree, shaved rhubarb, fresh mustard frill, and mustard seeds. It's sweet, sour, a little bit of spiciness from the pepper jam. It's perfect for the middle of a taste menu. For our next course, we started off with miso aioli, farro fried rice, a charred cipollini onion, a seared king trumpet mushroom, a piece of shaved celery, finally finished with squid ink glazed veal, and puffed rice chip. The contrast in colors between the pitch black squid ink glazed veal next to the white puffed rice chip is really striking on the plate. For our next course, we used a truffle creme fraiche, a braised veal stuffed pasta, sous vide veal, fresh cherry tomatoes coated in a smoked tomato demi-glaze, some moody blue blue cheese, arugula blossoms, and then enclosed it and smoked it table side. Before my final dessert course, I like to do a sweet and savory play. For this, we use charred marshmallow, veal, rosemary graham crackers, chocolate twill, and a chocolate demi-glaze. For dessert course, I made red velvet cake with a raspberry gastrique, veal fat powder, the veal fat panna cotta, and finally veal fat ice cream. This is a great menu exploring Royal Dutch Veal using different plating styles, cuts, techniques, and flavor profiles. It's fun using such a simple but complex ingredient that is so versatile. 